Hey guys, how are you? Eric Rodebaugh, EPGD Attorneys at Law. I get this fact pattern all the time. I bought a house with my boyfriend or girlfriend and now we've broken up. What do I do? The reason we did it was because I had good credit and he didn't, so the mortgage is in both of our names, but it's because of my credit and he's refusing to move out. What do I do? So the first thing is you get into your time machine, you go back in time and you don't do it. Okay guys, don't buy houses with people you're not married with. Because guess what? Breakups are more likely than marriages. So if you're gonna do it, right, and you, for whatever reason you're walking the plank of insanity, get a contract. Now I know it sounds not very sexy or not very romantic, but I'm serious. Get a contract, because contracts are not for friends. Contracts are for people who are not friends anymore. Contracts are for people that are in a fight. Now the thing is, you have to negotiate the contract when you're still friendly, and then you need to rely on the contract when you're not friends anymore. So think of things like if we break up, what happens to the house? Who moves out? Who goes off the mortgage? Who does whatever, whatever, whatever? And so put all this stuff in writing. Now, if you don't have a time machine, what are you gonna do? Partition by sale. I'll do another video one day soon. Thanks guys.